everyone. Happy Wednesday. Just wanted to make a real quick video. Um, just to check in since I didn't have a video Monday or Tuesday. And some of you may not have seen uh, my Facebook page post or my um, post on the community tab here for the YouTube channel. Uh, Monday, early Monday, I started no noticing a problem with my throat. Um, just this weird feeling like something was on my tongue or I was getting a sore throat. I wasn't really sure. Um, and then it just kept getting worse <laughs> throughout the day. And it was my uvula, the little thing that hangs in the back of your throat there, was swelling up. Um, and I had this happen to me years ago, probably 10, 15 years ago. Um, I remember this happening. Um, and back then I remembered waiting a while because I thought, oh, I just had a sore throat. So I got um, throat lozenges and throat spray and stuff like that. Well, it never gotten better. It was, it got really bad and I had to go to the doctor. And I couldn't remember what they prescribed me uh, back then, but I remember telling my husband on Monday, it was about Monday, 7.30, I said, I need to go to the, I need to go to the urgent care because I know this is going to get worse. I remember from years ago, oh, Marley's trying to take a poo-poo. <laughs> I don't think you guys want to see that. Um, so I said, I need to go to the urgent care because this isn't going to get better. I remember this happening before. I don't remember why it happened. I can't remember what she said it was from. Um, I just remember it, it uh, getting worse. So went to the urgent care <clears throat> and the doctor who saw me said that usually when that happens, when your uvula is swollen like that and you really don't have anything else going on, um, that it's usually from an allergic reaction to food or possibly, I don't know why they keep sniffing that lawnmower. My son's mowing lawn and he's got this out for later. Boys, get away from there. Get away from there. <laughs> um, anyway, she said it's usually uh, allergic reaction from like something uh, you ate or if you used a new chemical for cleaning. Um, and I told her I didn't use any new kind of cleaning products. I said, but I did. The only thing I could think of that I had different that day was my husband and I that morning had to take a car into um, the dealership to get looked at. And when we came back home, we stopped at Burger King to get breakfast. And I'm trying to stop drinking Coke. So I got a um, fruit punch from Burger King. A red fruit punch because I can't drink orange juice. It's too acidy because I sometimes will have acid reflux So I, and I don't like coffee. So I got a fruit punch instead of getting a, a pop. And <clears throat> that's the only thing that I had different. But I remember when I was drinking it, I thought, man, this fruit punch is strong. <laughs> it's really strong. And it even felt, and I, and I was thinking, I wonder how they make this. Is this like Kool-Aid, like a powder? Because it, it had like a little bit of a powdery consistency. Like maybe it didn't get mixed right. I don't know. So I don't know if it was from that red fruit punch or not. But I know I won't be drinking it anymore. And I know a lot of people say that. Sorry if you can hear lawn mowing going on. I think he's got the leaf, the blower out, blowing the grass off the sidewalk. Um... I know a lot of people are allergic to um, dyes and red products, so maybe it was that. I don't know, but it was the worst feeling. It hurt so bad, um, and the feeling of that your uvula hanging like that, it feels like it's just laying on your tongue, <laughs> and I kept thinking, oh my gosh, am I going to block my airway? This is terrible. And I'm also a mouth breather at night, so I knew if I didn't go to the doctor, um, and get it taken care of as soon as possible that, um, breathing through my mouth at night would make it even worse. So went to long story short, <laughs> trying to make it short, um, went to the urgent care and she gave me a steroid shot, which boy, did that hurt in the rear end. 
we were walking out and I felt like somebody like hit me with a bat in the rear end. <laughs> I'd never had a steroid shot before. Um, but it was worth it. Cause let me tell you what, within a couple hours, I could tell it was getting better just within a couple hours. Um, so I'm, even though my rear end hurt, <laughs> I was, I was glad that swelling was going away. And then when I woke up the next morning, the swelling was completely gone. So she did send me in a prescription for, um, more steroid, which I haven't taken because the swelling is completely gone. Um, there's nothing else wrong with me besides that swelling. Um, so now I'll have that steroid if it ever happens again or whatever, I'll have it in the, in the cupboard and my backup meds. Um, she also prescribed me some Flonase and some Zyrtec. I, I do take allergy medicine, Claritin, but she said sometimes you've got to, oh, my son's coming back. Hold on guys. He's got to get the mower. All right. He had to grab the push mower. Um, I don't remember what I was saying. What was I saying guys? I wish you could yell to me what I was saying. <laughs> um, uh, I think I was saying I woke up that morning in the swelling. Oh, Milo, you tried to grab it from my hand. <laughs> I was trying to swing back to throw it. Milo grabbed it out of my hand. <laughs> um, oh, the medication. She, um, she said sometimes you got to change up uh, from Claritin to Zyrtec to other things because I've been taking Claritin for years now. And she said maybe I need to switch it up. So she prescribed me some Zyrtec too so I could get a little cheaper through the pharmacy. So um, I am taking that. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to do a check-in and let you guys know wh where I was, where we were. Everybody else is fine. Dogs are doing great. Um, I think I'm going to start grooming them um, this weekend, uh, especially Milo and Mozzie. They're getting pretty furry. So, all right, guys, I got to get in, finish cleaning. Um, my house kind of went, uh, turned into a wreck. I didn't really do anything Monday or Tuesday, so <laughs> yeah, but we're all doing great. So I just wanted to check in and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye guys.